Brian Mudd, and this is my cheat sheet for Tuesday, February the 21st. Got some good news and some bad here. Let's start with the good first. Real estate. Of the top 10 real estate markets in the country that are set for turnaround in 2012, five of them are right here in Florida. And in fact, we've kind of got equal opportunity around the state. We have two of them that are on the panhandle. We have two of them that are on the East Coast and Orlando in the middle. Speaking about the ones on the Gulf Coast, we end up seeing Sarasota, the Bradenton area as well, along with Fort Myers that are both seeing dramatic decreases in inventory and an average list price that is more than 20% higher than this time last year. Let's take a look our way. Miami and Fort Lauderdale, and by the way, most of Palm Beach County is associated in the region with Fort Lauderdale. We're seeing average decreases in inventory of about 25% and, and get this, average listing prices greater than 30% for similar real estate this time last year. Doesn't mean 30% appreciation from last year, although for some properties it might be seen it, but the average list price is starting out much higher than we did, and we know demand has been much stronger in southeastern Florida uh, than it has been in years. So some really positive signs on real estate, that information coming from Realtor.com in a survey where they scoured the country. Now for the bad news. Oh boy. Gas prices. I made the mention yesterday that when I first saw what was going on with Iran on Sunday, it was one of those hold your butt moments. There's reason for it. News not good here. We not only have seen oil spike, oil is continuing to rise, closing in on $106 a barrel. Our financial markets are finally going to be open today to react to what's happened over the weekend. Here's perhaps the bigger issue. Wholesale gas prices. This time last week, we were at $3 flat. That means before you end up having any federal or state taxes locked on there or any markup, it was $3 at the wholesale level. Now, $3.22. We've seen a $0.22 cent increase per gallon of gas at the wholesale level before the federal taxes, before the state taxes, before any markup, which means that you're going to see over the next two weeks, things get uglier at the pump. And we're not talking about five cents, we're not talking about 10 cents. It's likely that they're gonna pass through a minimum of 15 cents more on average over the next two weeks. Now hold your butts and your wallets while you're at it. And I'll say again, you've been looking to move it in a fuel efficient car, now is the time to be doing that. You do not wanna wait until we're at $4, maybe even $5 a gallon sometime this summer before you're trying to trade out of fuel inefficiency into fuel efficiency. That'll be the equivalent of buying stocks absolutely as high as they could be and sell them as low as they possibly could be on the other end. You will get nuked on your trade if you wait too late, if you're looking to make that trade out of fuel inefficiency. All right, uh, let's talk about technology for the blind. It's something I think is pretty cool. Um, we, we know that tablet, smartphone technology is incredible, always innovating, always moving forward. But if you're blind, uh, a lot of it's ther theoretical, right? Can't enjoy all of it. Well, that could be changing. New Braille app is actually not only effective for the blind, but actually could allow the blind to be able to use smartphone and tablet technology as never before. In fact, could end up innovating TV technology and many other aspects of everyday technological life that have yet been av made available to the blind. More information on my physical cheat sheet today, so check that out. Enjoy yours. We shall see you tomorrow.